hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome 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 to another new vlog if you're new here my name is osas thank you for tuning in if you're a returning subscriber oh babes thank you for joining i feel like i'm always doing skincare on this channel but guys i'm trying to get my face right the face must face this summer how's everyone doing how's your week been my week has been insane um it's currently saturday right so this vlog is going to be like a little bit short because it's a weekend vlog so i want to bring you guys along with what i'm getting up to this weekend so this weekend should i show you guys what i'm using for my face okay so i use i changed my whole skincare routine guys because i just felt like the ones i was using wasn't i don't know i didn't really feel good about it again and I'm not really sure of the vendor I bought it from, so I just decided to change everything. So now I'm using this La Roche Posay um, face wash. It's, it says it's anti dryness. My skin is really, really dry. And right now, the weather is so dry. I'm using this Clarence toner. So after I go in with the toner, I go in with hyaluronic acid because i need hydration and i go in with alpha abutin because i'm going through um hyperpigmentation as well and then i use this um vitamin c glow moisturizer from the body shop can you see this right here yeah so i use this vitamin c from the body shop it's very hydrating i'm using this faded cream from topicals my eye cream because i have really dark under eye circles so i use this and then for sunscreen i use la roche posay i'm going to time myself for 55 minutes i doubt if i'll actually take 55 minutes for this makeup but let's see let me just give myself time to you know look nice look presentable you know yeah maybe i can actually even talk to you guys a little bit about you know how my week has actually been you know what how my life has been in canada so far since i've been living here Ah, God. <laughs> I don't even know where to start from. I, I just, I really want to be like very real with you guys on this channel. I'm not letting you guys know what's tea, okay? With this whole moving thing. Obviously, before I came here, I had to talk with myself like, oh, things are going to be a little bit different, right? Like, you're it's different you're going to move into a different place in terms of especially in terms of work wise you do marketing but you're marketing to you're marketing to Niger a nigerian audience so you're coming to canada you have to learn the culture you have to learn how people um taking content here you have to learn the style the nuances and stuff like that i was like oh yeah but boy, nothing really prepares you for when you are in that situation. Just like when, when, like I'm explaining to you how it feels like to be drunk. Like you won't get it until you're actually drunk and then you feel. You know what I mean? I've just been like really going through it. Like really going through it or like I've just been really overwhelmed, I would say. I think that's like a better way to put it. I've just been overwhelmed because I'm just, I'm trying to adapt okay to this fast-paced environment guys you need to know that this place is very fast-paced you need to move like this and, and to be fair it's the same thing back home i used to live in lagos right and it's, lagos is kind of fast-paced but it's different here it's different like i'm not complaining because one of the things that i was really looking forward to when i was moving here is challenge i want to be challenged you know i feel like i wasn't really challenged back home i feel like i need to be doing something more in my life you know what i mean i didn't feel like i was getting that from my life back home so i was like okay let me i, I move to a big city you know just but boy <laughs> until you are, you are actually in a situation and you start to see that oh okay that's how you guys do it here i don't know if you guys can connect with me i know i don't know if you guys can can feel me on this especially people that live here right i just it's a lot okay it's a lot <laughs> just wanted to let you guys know that it's hard 
it's not all glints and glam obviously life is life is better here for me for sure in terms of standard of living i come back home from work is lights <laughs> You know, I don't have to worry about lights. I'm sure at some point I'll still figure out what works for me. I have to give myself credit. But at the same time, I just want to bring lights and tell you guys also that some more, as much as it's really cool, it's really good, you know, everything is nice, everything is calm, you also have to know that <laughs> everything is not what it seems. This place is hard, but it's nothing that you cannot handle. That's what I, I would add. It's nothing you cannot handle. So I'm new. I'm just trying to fit in, trying to adapt. This conversation is just about my adaptation process. My company is hosting an event, an award event for the black community and ally community in Canada. And, you know, I've just been, been heads on with the planning process. It's been like, it's really amazing really to work on projects like this i call myself really honored and lucky just getting ready somewhere in toronto i'll bring you guys along obviously i can't vlog too much because i'll be working but i'll show you guys my feet i'll show you guys when i get ready i'll show you guys the commute a little bit about of the award but that's just it i don't really show too much because i have to work <laughs> yesterday i was just super exhausted and i was wearing those shoes the entire night walking up and down i was everywhere yesterday i'm sorry i couldn't vlog for you guys because again i'm working so i'm usually very busy when i'm on site so i just i didn't have time to you know vlog the event but it was beautiful we had all this award recipients and you know hearing their stories how they've come to be who they are right now where where they started from you know their journey is truly inspirational yeah i've just really connected with most of them yesterday back home really really late like maybe around 12 or so and just took off my makeup had a really nice oh my god when i remember that shower yesterday like Oh my god, the shower was so relaxing. Like I was just under the sh I just was under the shower head. And what I was just like I just I just needed that, right? And so yeah, I I took a really nice shower, took my makeup off and just went straight to bed. I didn't even eat today. Um I'm going if you watch my last video, no not my last video, my two other videos where i was talking about how i got a job in marketing if you haven't watched it please go and watch it i was talking about how i'm actually part of a membership called Men monday girl and i did not even anticipate how busy this weekend would be but yeah i have to attend so i already booked myself a member meetup and it's in toronto so i have to be there Plus, guys, finally, I bought the dresser for my closet because I I was I was going crazy how disorganized that closet closet was. So I was like, you know, I need to buy the, the dresser. So I'm going to go and pick it up. I paid for pickup. It's just in Burlington. It's not so far from here. So I'm going to go and pick it up. Um, if and I will come and pick me, and then we'll go and pick it up. And I guess. In order for me to be really organized and manage my time properly, I have to shower and do my makeup, go pick it up, drop it in my house, and then go to Toronto. <sighs> Guys, you know I'm always saying that this summer we're outside, okay? And I really mean everyone I, every word I say when I say this summer we're outside. My debido tickets, guys. 
<laughs> I booked my David O ticket. He's coming to Toronto in July. And yo, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I got front row seats to see Obio Badez. <laughs> how much time it will take me to go and pick up this package from ikea i'm actually so pissed and upset but it's okay it's fine i'll pay for another one i decided to go out to lunch with um if and I, so just waiting for my lift and yeah see you guys at the restaurant <laughs> Saturday morning. I apologize um, in advance because I don't know what happened to my voice. But so someone would think that I actually had fun last night. Not really, but yeah. Today is the day that I organize my closet because it's a hot mess. So I have to organize it now. Mm -hmm. 